Sunlight actually can cause something called solar retinopathy, which is basically a burn to your retina. The retina is the nerve tissue of the eye. It's kind of like the film in our camera. And once it's damaged, it's usually irreversible. And what people may notice is a black spot in the center of their vision that doesn't go away. Or they may notice distortion of their vision where things that normally are straight lines look wavy. Um, they may also notice that their color vision is impaired. And so most of that can be permanent damage, which is why we are so uh, vigilant about what the type of eye protection we use to prevent that damage. The safest way to view them directly is through solar glasses. And so there are a couple different pairs of solar glasses uh, that you can look into. Uh, if you go to the American Astronomical Society website, you'll find a list of approved manufacturers. The reason it's important to use that list is because there are a lot of counterfeit solar eclipse glasses out there. And if you look through these glasses, we have a pair here, and if you look through them, I can't see anything with the glasses on, and that's really important because these glasses should filter out 99.99% .99 of the sun's rays. The only thing you should be able to see through these glasses is be able to see the eclipse itself. Using the glasses, you want to make sure you put them on before you look up at the eclipse, and then you want to take them off after you're done looking at it. And so there should be no period of time that you're looking directly at the clips without the glasses on. With kids, it's actually really important that you watch them the whole time they're using them to make sure that they don't take the glasses off, look over the glasses, things like that. So kids will require a lot more supervision while using these devices. With young kids, if you don't feel they're going to be able to handle this, they're not going to be able to keep the glasses on, they're going to want to be tempted to look over them, then this might not be the right time for them to actually look at it. The next way to view the eclipse, if you have not been able to obtain these glasses, uh, you can still see it indirectly by projecting it. So the easiest thing to do is if you just have a brief second in between work or something like that, you just take your fingers back to the sun and you're going to form kind of a lattice here and then you'll look into your shadow and instead of seeing those kind of square grids which is what's actually in between your fingers you will actually see kind of a semicircular area that's that's uh, showing the eclipse. If you have just a few simple materials you can create a pinhole projector. So here I just have two index cards and one of them has a little hole that I've used a, p a push pin to put, uh, put a hole in. And what I'm going to do is stand with my back again to the sun and I'm going to hold this one right here so that the sun can come through that pinhole and then I'm going to hold the other one just out in front. And what would be good is if this one is in your shadow because that'll help you see the projection better. So you're just going to line it up until you see a projection of the eclipse onto this piece of paper. And the last thing you can do, which is a fun project with kids especially, is to create a little bit of kind of a box projector. So basically what I have here is a simple cardboard box and I've taken uh, one end and I cut a hole in it, that was a rectangular hole, and then I just taped some foil over that hole and then put t took a push pin and pushed a hole through that. Then if you look on the inside of the box, you'll see that on the inside I've taped a piece of white paper to it. And then what you'll do is you'll seal that up. You cut a little viewing hole on the side near where the, the pinhole is and you just, again, with your back to the sun, you can look through that little hole, uh, that viewing hole on the side, and look towards that white piece of paper. The sun will come through this pinhole, and then it'll project onto the white piece of paper back there, and you'll be able to look through here and see it.